In this video today, I will show you how you can speed up multiple clips and transitions, even custom transitions here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So what do I mean? Let's say you have a timeline with a couple of clips and even transitions and even custom transitions. If you don't know what custom transitions are, in my last video, I explained you how you can do this if you have settings in transitions and you want to apply them over and over again and not adjust them all the time. So definitely watch that video first. So, but what if I have all of this here in my timeline and now after I have it in my timeline, I realize, oh, this whole section, I want to speed up this section. And what you would do is you would come in, click this clip, change the speed, click this clip, change the speed, click this transition, change the speed. And that just takes a lot of time. So in this video now, I will show you a faster way how you can do this. So for that, you have to come into the edit page that doesn't work on the cut page. I have a video here on my channel where I show you how you can get all of those pages in DaVinci Resolve, even on the iPad. So when you're on the edit page, you can just simply mark everything so in this case, it's those clips here and the transitions and now right click. And here is a big menu that is opening up in the edit page and the top one, new compound clip. This will create a clip where all the clips and transitions will be nested in. I say, this is now my intro, for example. Intro, I create. And now you see, I have this one massive clip and it even says here, intro. And you see that this is a combat clip based on this icon here. And if I come into the media pool, you see here that I also have now a compound clip in here. I can always edit the stuff and change it even in the compound clip. I will show you that in a second. But obviously, because this is now one clip, I can simply right click and now go here to change clip speed. And here under speed, I can now change it, let's say to 150% and say change. And now you see all of that is now 150% speed. You can also change the speed when you come in here to the cut page and you click the compound clip because here's the funny thing. You can actually work with compound clips here in the cut page, but you can only create them at the moment in the edit page. Maybe in the future, this will be different, but for now. And here you would also say right click on that clip and then you can come in here to speed and then it opens this window here and here you basically just change that number. If you want to learn more about different ways how to change speed, because there's even three different ways how you can change speed. I have a YouTube video here on my channel where I teach you all about how to change the speed with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So let's come back here to the edit page. So what if you want to change something later here in that compound clip? You can always right click and then for example, come up here and say open in timeline. So now we have a separate timeline open, but this is not a timeline, it's the compound clip. And you see this here on the bottom. Timeline one is the timeline we're working at the moment. And now I'm in intro. So I'm opening the compound clip intro. So I can do changes here inside, add different clips, remove clips, rearrange. I can do all of this. And if I'm done, I can simply double click here on timeline one or double click here in the media pool. So if I double click, now I'm back in my timeline. And this is how you work with compound clips and it's so much easier and it will save you so much time. Here in my clip, I'm showing this speed editor from Blackmagic. This is this device. So if you really want to become a faster video editor, you should definitely consider getting the speed editor because it's designed for the cut page here with DaVinci Resolve, even on the iPad. And I released a masterclass just for the speed editor. So if you have a speed editor or you're considering getting one, definitely check out this masterclass. And as a bonus, everyone who gets the DaVinci Resolve iPad masterclass also will get the speed editor master class as a free bonus. So there are links here in the description. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Daniel. This is all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And yeah, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, hit like, subscribe, ding on ding on the bam bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.